What is going on guys, Jay here, and we have been getting a lot of new information about Pokemon X and Y, and I know I made a video like a while back when Pokemon X and Y was first announced, and I gave my initial thoughts on um, the, uh, the subject of, you know, Gen 6 and the fact that Gen 6 is actually being made now. But um, yeah, so I have even more thoughts as all this new information that we've, uh, we've been getting and everything. So I'm just going to make another video talking about my thoughts as of um, May 13th. Um, so uh, yeah. Anyway, so very, very, very popular topic is Sylveon's typing. Now at first, when Sylveon first came out, I thought it would be maybe a flying type because I don't, I don't, I really don't know. It doesn't look like a bug type to me. It doesn't look like rock. It doesn't look like ice. It doesn't look like it. I mean, why would it even be ice? It doesn't even need to be ice because there's Glaceon. Why did I say that? It doesn't look like steel. It doesn't look like really anything. Um, it just doesn't look like anything that, I don't know, maybe dragon. I got a dragon vibe from it, but I have no clue what Sylveon's type is. People are saying Sylveon's typing is going to be fighting or something. People also saying that there's a new type, fairy type, um, light type, and Sylveon might be that, um, which is definitely a possibility considering the way it looks. It looks like it'll be like a light slash fairy type uh, kind of Pokemon, which means that there'll be a new typing in uh, Gen 6. Or maybe Sylveon is a dual type, is the first dual type EV evolution, and it has two types. And we, I just don't know what two types it would be though. I don't, I mean, that's kind of, it's kind of weird. I'm not really sure. But um, I've been reading places where it says Sylveon's typing is like strong against ice, but weak against poison, and like it's not steel or I, I don't even know. It's just a lot. Of stuff about Sylveon. I have no clue what Sylveon's typing is going to be. We did get a little bit of a video uh, preview with Sylveon, but that didn't really tell us much of anything. Um, it just led to a bunch of speculations that um, Sylveon was a bug type, but I mean, no, it's, I don't think it's a bug type at all. But that's Sylveon. Next, sort of kind of popular topic is Mewtwo and Mewtwo's new form, which honestly, I don't think anybody really saw that coming considering when the picture when the poster of the movie first leaked everyone including myself kind of thought it was fake and then when um when the creator of pokemon revealed that it was actually real i think everyone including myself pooped out a house from their butt because there was just it, no one thought it was real and a lot of people are all like oh my gosh mewtwo got a new form mewtwo doesn't need a new form blah 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 and I'm just sitting here chilling like, I mean, I don't know, Mewtwo, it's kind of cool, I guess. And the more I look at it and the more, the more I look at it, the more I'm comfortable with it and the more I really want to see what it can do. So I am really looking forward to the um, new Pokemon movie. Um, that way uh, we can see Mewtwo's awakened form and see what uh, this new Mewtwo form can do. I mean, it better be able to do something. I mean, its tail moved up to its head. So... We need this. It better be really, really awesome. That's all I'm saying. So now for the most recent news, um, we have got four new Pokemon from uh, the Coral 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 scans that have been uh, leaked, and we have we have four new Pokemon: Go Goat, which is a grass type Pokemon, and it can use the uh, it can use the move Horn Leech. Um, we got Elekitaru. I'm sorry if I'm pr pronouncing these all wrong. Anyway, it's an electric normal type, which is actually a new type combination. And it can use this move called Parabola Charge, which heals the user while damaging opponents. Which, I mean, that's pretty much like a Giga Drain, you know, Leech Life kind of thing, whatever. I guess it's just an electric type uh, move like that. Um, we have uh, the Yaya Koma. Uh, the Yaya Koma? No. We have Yaya Koma, which is the Japanese uh, Robin Pokemon. Is normal flying is basically the Pidgey, Talo, whatever flying type of um, this new region of a uh, sixth gen, and it can move. It can learn to move of uh, or use the move Flame Charge. Uh, I don't. I mean, I guess that's cool. Whatever. And then we have this Panda Yan Yancham Yancham, however you want to pronounce it. It's a naughty Pokemon. It's a Panda 
that's a cool that's cool I, I really like that idea and it's a fighting type so I already know everyone is gonna be naming this thing Poe or Kung Fu Panda once uh, once uh, the games come out and everyone catch, catches this Pokemon I know everyone's gonna learn uh, you uh, name it Poe or whatever and it can, uh, has a new move called uh, parting remark which lowers the opponent's stats and causes the user to switch out which I find really weird but I guess it could be kind of cool. Also, we um, learned that there is slight cu um, customization of characters. You can change the character's hair, st um, hair color, and skin tone, which is really, really cool. Um, so I guess now we uh, they're trying to cater to all, well, not all skin types, but to some to skin types to some degree. I don't know. I mean. Really, I'm not too fond of the male character at all. I really don't like him at all. I, I just do not like his design. But I do like the girl, though. I do like the girl design, so I actually might be a girl in this game. Just saying. But, um, yeah, my thoughts on this, all, all this information, I think it's pretty cool. Um, some of the Pokemon I'm not really feeling, but some of the other ones are pretty cool. I, I really do like the new Panda Pokemon, and I do like Go Goat. Um, but I don't necessarily like um, Yayakoma or Elekiteru like as of right now because I just don't I don't know they just don't appeal to me. Um, the male character doesn't appeal to me, but the female character does because I mean I like her design. I don't like the guy's design. It's just so plain and not. Eh, I don't know. It doesn't have anything going for him. And um, yeah, I would love to know what Sylveon's type is so that way I know if I want to use it or not. And um, yeah, that's pretty much about it with uh, my thoughts on the game. I'm, I'm really looking forward to more information about these, especially the starters' um, evolutions and their final evolutions and all that. I'm really looking forward to all that. So, uh, what about you guys? What do you think of uh, Gen Six so far? Leave your comp or leave your thoughts in the comments and uh, leave a like, comment, and or well, leave a like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.